Good morning everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 19. I have to think about that though for a second. It's 19 isn't it? Yeah that was right. <laughs> this morning I'm actually up like fairly early because I have to go get a lactose intolerance test today which is going to be great. It's like a three hour long test. I'm not been allowed to eat since because my test is at half nine so i need to leave the house at like five minutes it's currently five past nine um and yeah i've not been allowed to eat since half nine last night you have to fast 12 hours before and i can't eat during obviously this time or during the test at any point i can't eat anything so i'm literally like feeling like really hungry now i think it's more the fact that i can't eat is making me think about food even more which is making me even more hungry so that's just not great and breakfast is literally like my fave meal of the day i always get so excited for breakfast so i'm kind of just like mm, like sat here really wanting some food but i'm not gonna be able to have anything till like half 12 one o'clock so basically lunch time which is going to be great, but I'll have to try and make it through. I think the first part I'm doing at the doctor's, like at the clinic itself, and then I carry it on at home so I don't have to stay at the doctor's for that long. Also, I kind of need to come back home for the puppies. Then during that time as well, I'm not allowed to like sleep or do exercise like half an hour before or any point during the test. And right now, I feel so tired. I regret going to bed late last night. It was like, some people might not be late. It was like God 12, and I'm the sort of person who used to always go to bed at like half 10 11 kind of time and for me then having to get up early this morning my alarm went off and i was literally like no so i got up at like quarter past eight which isn't like extremely early but considering i went to bed like late for me that was a tough one getting out of bed at that point but um oh, i've got something on my lip here sorry i'm just trying to see what's going on there but yeah i need to get on the way to my lactose test the puppies are currently waking up my dad put them in their crate as he left about like half eight kind of time for work and they're waking up i was hoping they'd just stay asleep so i could just subtly leave they're waking up though but i mean i can't get them out now i need to like leave the house so they're just gonna have to wait also can't have my advent calendar the chocolate this morning which is what i look forward to so much every morning at the moment it's like the best part of the day waking up and getting to open that but I'll just have to hold off that for the moment and do it at some point this afternoon. Also, this morning, the wind is like so strong outside. I don't think you can hear it right now. It's sort of stopped for the moment. But honestly, this morning, when I woke up, I thought like we were gonna take off, like the house was just gonna take off. My blind was just like really rattling. I think it's still kind of windy out now, but I think it's like less so than it was. But hopefully I won't take off. Also, the only thing I can have is water, so I'm going to go and make use of my allowance of water and go get a nice big glass of water and then set off to the doctor's. So I am back home from the doctor's. It's now 10 o'clock. Let me just turn the radio off for a second. Um, and yeah, basically I've got to do like a breath sample every 25 minutes and there's seven samples in total, so I think the last one's at half 12. So I've got like another two and a half hours of doing it. I've got, oh God, I'm so tired as well. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I've got to do seven samples in total and I've just done one. So, got quite a few more to go yet, which will be fun. But, oh well, I think I might start editing yesterday's vlog while I'm like sat around here. Cause I mean, I can't do anything. I've realized I don't think I'm allowed to drink water during the test either. So I can't have water or any kind of food. Oh my God, the wind is getting up so much again, literally on the way home, on the motorway. At one point the wind came on so strong and I could actually feel it like, against the car. Like I was having to really push down on it and stop it from swerving off to the side. It was so scary. I was just so relieved to actually make it back home with like in one piece without crashing or anything. So yeah, that was pretty scary to be honest. And there was just like leaves and trees and whatever flying around everywhere. I am now two breath samples down. And also I was really craving some overnight oats. So like I know I can't eat anything now. But when I'm finished the test, I want to have some, so I've just made myself some overnight oats quickly, even though it's not going to be overnight, but it'll have been like a couple of hours, so they'll have had time to like soak. They're always better once it's been like the whole night, but it's 
still a couple of hours will do it and I can have those when I'm finished something to look forward to at the end of it I've got three samples left to give and I'm also just feeling so tired right now I feel like so energyless but I guess it's because I, I haven't had any food or anything to kick start my day and give me some energy so I just feel so sleepy like I was already tired this morning I think just from having like late night like I was saying but yeah, now that I haven't had any food, the tiredness has just like persisted. And I'm like, give me some food. But it's half 11, so I've got an hour to go till I can have like a food and drink. Also, my throat feels so tense and dry now. I just need something to drink. But the last one I did the samples, I was breathing, because you have to like breathe into a tube. Well, breathing out the air, I was like almost choking just because like my throat feels really dry and like tickly. But yeah, hour to go. I definitely would not survive on I'm a Celeb, literally. With the small portions they have and the rareness of the food on there, I would not be okay. I would just be in a tired, like, grumpy state all the time, honestly. But I am going to watch Elf now. I've decided to watch Elf. I haven't yet watched it this year, so it needs to happen at some point. And I'm sure that this will, like, help lift my mood, keep me thinking, feeling, like, positive and upbeat and really put me in the festive spirit. I've got to love a bit of Elf. Also, really quickly, this is so random, but I don't know why there's suddenly a gap on my home page here on my phone. I don't know if I've accidentally deleted an app or something, but yeah, everything else is there fine. But, like, there's just a hole there randomly, and I don't know what used to be there. If you, like, happen to notice any of the key apps that are missing, like any of the Apple ones that I may have accidentally deleted, then, yeah, let me know, because I don't know what was there. Finally just did my last like sample, so I'm all done. It's just gone half 12. I can finally get something to drink and eat. Literally my throat feels so dry right now. And like, I'm so like croaky as well when I'm speaking. So can't, I'm actually so excited just to have a glass of water right now. I'm also gonna get the kettle on, get some green tea. And then I've of course got my overnight oats. Well, my two hour my two hour oats yeah my two hour oats to have that i made two hours ago so oh i'm literally so excited right now i can now of course also open up my advent calendar okay let's see number 19 oh it's over here that's another row on the calendar complete can't believe how soon christmas is coming round what's it gonna say today how excited are you now? Well, I think you can probably already tell I am very excited for Christmas. Can't not wait. I'm gonna guess today's gonna be a snowman from that shape. Yay, I got it right. That honestly feels so much better to have had some food and had a drink. Feeling a lot better already now because I was getting a really bad headache as well, but I think it was just like kind of dehydration type headache. So definitely feels better after having a glass of water and also some green tea i think i'm going to quickly try and pop back to the clinic now to drop off the samples as the puppy's currently quite sleepy so i thought I might as well try and do that now because they close for like a mini afternoon break at half two and it's just gone 10 past one so i can probably quickly get there now go and drop that off and so that's sorted at least and then I can get back and give the puppies their lunch then because they were still really sleepy and dozy. So I thought I might as well just make the most of while they're still half asleep. Hello. Come on then, out you come. Hello, bubs. Hello, bears. You headed straight out? Do you want to go outside? Yeah. Come on and out we go. Out we go. You both have one ear the wrong way around. Ooh, the wind's kicking up a bit out here again, guys. There you go. Out you go, guys. Guys, drink your lunch. Drink your lunch. Yeah. Come on, then. Let's go get you some food. Baby, what are you doing? Are you going in or out? Are you going to come in? Because I want to close this door because it's a cold breeze. So what are you going to do? He's just been standing in the middle of the doorway for a good few minutes now. I'm like, can I please close the door? What are you going to do, Pails? Bailey just tipped over the whole, like, um, bowl with all their toys in. And has pulled it down and now he's just helping himself <laughs> to all the toys out of it. It's so funny. I wish I just caught that on camera. He literally just jumped up and, like, knocked the thing over and then was, like, standing there choosing which toy to take out of it. <laughs> 
too out here. <laughs> Bailey's now walked off with the whole of the toy bell. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not gonna get anywhere digging like that. And he's just emptied it all over here. <laughs> what are you doing, Bailey? It's gone such a grey, cloudy, horrible day. Look at that cloud coming. Like it might rain later on. I need to take these puppies out for a walk as well because my dad's gonna be back late from work today. He's not gonna be back till like seven. And it'll be dark by then. So I need to take them out at some point this afternoon. Hopefully it won't start raining. Because, yeah, that won't be fun. It's gone a bit chilly as well. So I've decided what to do, like, about lunch right now. Because it's ten past three already. So, like, it's quite late. But then I didn't have breakfast till, like, half twelve, quarter to one kind of time. So it's been, like, a couple of hours since I had breakfast. But then I'm not feeling that hungry yet. But I feel a little bit hungry. But... I just don't know what to do because I don't really want to have like a super late lunch and then end up having like dinner really late because I do kind of want to get an early night tonight. This whole day I've just been feeling so tired. I think we're just having to get up early this morning but then not being able to eat then having a really late breakfast. I don't know. I just feel like really messed up and confused about times. It's almost like having jet lag right now for some reason. <laughs> you know when you just get back from somewhere and you're so confused about meal times and if you're hungry or not. That's kind of how I feel right now. I'm kind of tired at the same time. It's just really weird, but I think maybe I will get myself something now. Have something to eat and then I might take the dogs out for a walk. I will see what they're doing as well. Bailey's just sat on the sofa, he might settle down. Bob's has come to join me in the kitchen, haven't you? You're always around. If there's food, guaranteed you will be there. <laughs> Every day I think he comes into the kitchen pretty much as I'm getting myself my lunch. So I've just made myself a cream cheese and tuna wrap to have for my lunch. I'm just going to roll that up in a sec, although I think I need to hold it shut because I'm so bad at getting the wrap to actually stay closed when I try and roll it up. But yeah, I'm going to eat this now and then I think I'm going to watch some more vlogmas. I've been catching up with some vlogs, so want to carry on watching them for a little bit longer. I'm going to take the puppies for a walk, but they're both like nicely settled on the sofa right now, being all cute. I was just writing a new blog post, and I had them both either side of me, like I was sat in the, in the middle between them there, and I had them either side, with like Bailey's paw on one side, then Bob's was facing the other way around, I had his head on me before, it was so nice and warm and cosy. But I do kind of need to take them for a walk, it's already five to five, but they just look so sleepy, I think if I say the word walkies and get excited about it then they will too but it's gone so grey and cold i do kind of need to take them though like now because it's gonna start to get dark within like the next hour or so so yeah and it's already pretty grey and like dim outside so i might just take them for a quick walk but i definitely need to go and get another coat because i'm just so cold right now i've just thought i've just come over and stood by this radiator why didn't i turn that on at all I've had the door closed for ages so it could have like heated the room nicely maybe I'll put that on now just before I leave so then I come back and the room's nice and I was gonna say cold nice and warm hopefully it's already freezing cold but yeah I don't know Ooh, but I do feel like I need to get out and move about the move about the house move about a bit because I've just been like sort of sat all day not really doing anything and I feel like that also makes you feel like more tired when you don't do anything in a way or when you're just sat around not moving I don't know do you get what I mean do you also get that I don't know I just find that whenever I have a lazy day at home I always end up being more tired in a way I think they're ready for a walk now I went upstairs to go and make myself all nice and cozy I've got a hat on Got a scarf on, got my coat on, feeling ready to brave the outdoors. Some people might think this is a bit extreme, but I'm so cold right now that I don't even care. I need to just get my shoes on. Yeah, they're definitely waking up now. They're attacking each other and busy playing, so definitely time for a walk, I think. I would take my camera with me, but there's literally no way that I can manage to hold both dogs and the camera that really would not work it's a struggle trying to hold both dogs already well i have made it back from walking the dogs honestly walking two puppies like that which they're both kind of pulley as well and pretty strong serious good arm workout and also like my wrists hurt from like where the leads are but made it through got back in one piece at the end as well trying to get back into like the organization where i live there was a guy at the gate trying to get in at the same time as us and he'd just made it 
like just after we got there so he was standing there the dog going crazy trying to attack him i have one in each hand i can't do my keys and he's trying to do the keys i'm like literally if he turned up like two minutes later that would have been perfect because now the dog's going crazy then he tries to stay there and hold the gate open and give me my keys back i'm like sorry i don't have a free hand these dogs are going crazy but oh well or if he got there like two minutes before us then that would have been fine as well and i could have waited for him to get through but Oh well, he didn't seem to understand that he wasn't helping the situation by standing right there. I think he thought he was being useful and like doing my keys for me and stuff. And I was like, if you literally stood back like by 10 centimeters, I could have done my keys and got the dogs in, then you could have come in afterwards. But he didn't understand that concept, I don't think. And I didn't want to be like, sorry, move out the way. But we've made it back, so that's all good. They're still going kind of crazy though. They're like playing with each other now, but. Hopefully they'll settle down again soon. Oh yeah, update on yesterday's quality street situation. If you did see the vlog yesterday, then you would have seen that there was a big box of quality streets on this table here. And then um, yesterday morning when I came down, it disappeared and I was really confused where it had gone and I couldn't find it anywhere. Last night I asked my dad what he'd done with it. Found out where he's put it. It's upstairs apparently in my sister's room. Like my sister's not here at the moment. But my dad was like, yeah, because I kept eating too many. So to stop being tempted, I put them up there. And he was like, but now you've reminded me they're up there. So I want to go get one now. But yeah, apparently they're upstairs in my sister's room. I was just so confused. Cause I literally looked at like all the cupboards. Like in his bedroom. In case he'd, I don't know, taken it up when he was going to bed and decided to have a snack or two. I don't know, I was like really confused, but I now know where it's gone, so it's all good. Don't worry, the quality sheets were not stolen. No one took them, we still have them, and we're still gonna have our big tub of Christmas quality sheets. <laughs> Made myself a nice vanilla chai tea to hopefully warm myself up a bit. It's one of these um, Pukka, Pukka teas again that I tried the other day. And yes, yeah, their vanilla chai one, which is really nice. And it's such a nice warming winter drink because of like the cinnamon in it as well. We finally have a fire going again. Got some wood. Finally gonna be feeling warm. Literally, it's been so cold all day. Although having that heater on has definitely helped warm the room up. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that sooner or why I've never thought of doing that. But it does actually help surprisingly, even though it's only like a small little radiator thing. It does actually help. To make me feel a bit warmer which is nice and we've also just got some more christmas cards in through the post so we've got some around the bottom of the tree now and then we've got quite a few on the shelves as well and also then of course my advent calendar over there just been cooking up some dinner gonna have chicken fajitas tonight so we've got chicken and peppers oh and that's the microwave beeping because we've also got some breads to have with it like wrapped breads as well i just need to put those on for a little bit longer though i think yeah they're not quite hot yet I've decided that I'm gonna have a bath because I really feel just like having a nice, relaxing chill in the bath. I'll probably watch a vlog or something while I'm in there. So I've just started running it now. I'm just waiting for the water to get hot. I'm gonna make a nice, warming bath, which will be so cozy. I don't have baths that often. I always have showers, but I'm just really in the mood for a nice, cozy, warm bath. I've also got the little heater on over here, so hopefully it should get nice and warm and cozy. I'm also gonna put a bath on. I think in the bath because I got given some the other day if you would have seen from some of the kids I teach at dancing. I got um, some bath bombs. I should try and find them. I think there was three. There was like a strawberry one, a mango one, a lemon one. I think it was three. Which one? I found one. Oh, there we go. I think this might be the mango one because orange. Smells good. Mm. Yeah, smells good. I think I'm going to put that one in. And then I just need some bubbles to put in as well, which will be very nice. So here is the current progress of my bath. I'm going to put a bit more water in, but I'm going to drop this bath bomb in now. Wait, oh, it doesn't actually fizz. It's not fizzing that much. Oh, it is now. There we go. I love the sound of this. Like when you fizz a bath bomb, it sounds so satisfying. And it smells so nice as well just got out my bath and it feels so nice to have had like a nice relaxing bath and I feel so like refreshed now as well. My only problem with having a bath is I always take forever to get the temperature right. It either starts getting too hot or too cold and then while you're in it if you start adding like warm water or whatever then one end gets really warm and then the other one's like freezing cold so I always have a problem with that but once you manage to get it right then it is so nice. I've come up now to get 
to bed it's just gone 11 and i was saying to myself that i was gonna get an early night tonight and by that i was like at the latest gonna be in bed at like half 10 it's now already gone 11 it just always happens i was sat downstairs watching the santa claus as in like the disney film and before i know it the time's just gone i said to myself because an hour and a half i was like oh i'll just watch like half of it or something so like 45 minutes of it and that would have meant that i would have been coming up to bed at like quarter past 10 kind of time I've just ended up getting so into it. I think I watched the, like, the majority of it in the end. There's only about 20 minutes of it left, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get to bed. I can finish it off in like the morning while I'm having breakfast or something. Cause yeah, I seriously just need to get an early night at some point soon cause it's just not happening. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Be sure to smash the up if you did. Click the red subscribe button down below if you're new and I'll see you tomorrow with another day of Vlogmas. Night.